There we go. <laughs> That's better. I pulled a cacarst there. I muted myself and forgot to unmute. Oh, and I'm backwards. Let me do this then. Uh, let me uh, select the right transform here, huh? Let's do this because, you know, we do at some point want to uh, flip, flip, flip horiz. There we go. Flip horizontally. There we go. Now we've got our cool Extra Life shirt all legible and readable by uh, all you out there. Dog Daytona. Hey, dog. How's it going? Fellow stream team member. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. Thank you, Owning Toaster, for a bit of Rocket League action there. Awesome stuff. Always good, man. That's, uh... Yeah, I have to say that's, uh... Yeah, Rocket League. Good stuff there, man. That's that's one fun game. Frustrating, but fun. In fact, I just uh, I played a little session with uh, the, new, the new Drop Zone Arena uh the other day and finally won my first match on that i've only played a handful of uh matches on there uh on drop zone but uh with you know ai exhibition matches and my god i just i can't i can't win a match on there except except this last time finally won a match i think it was an overtime match too we managed to eke out but yeah most of the ones i'm losing to are like right at the last second or or right in overtime but nonetheless, it's uh, very enjoyable, so I definitely have to get more Rocket League uh, gameplay going. But for now, we're here uh, with Exeter Life, and uh, we're going to be continuing on with our uh, city here in City Skylines. I was I missed yesterday uh, due to some stuff I had to take care of. My rule for Rocket League is everyone is bad at Rocket League, and some are extremely lucky. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds that sounds like me and uh, Battery Age with Rocket League. But yeah, I, I was unfortunately not able to stream in my normal slot uh, yesterday afternoon at 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time due to some stuff I had to take care of. But hey, I'm glad we had this spot opened up so I could pop in and uh, continue working our, on our city and stay on schedule for all our city building in the weeks and months to come between Sea Skylines and uh, SimCity, uh, which will be starting in May. So in the meantime, first things first, let's get down to business. What is Extra Life here? Well, Extra Life is an extension of the Children's Miracle Network. Um, and what the Children's Miracle Network is, is a fundraising um, arm or a fundraising organization, I guess you could say, um, for uh, a whole slew of hospitals that are in North America. Uh, they're in Canada, uh, the United States, and Puerto Rico. Uh, I think, uh, if I recall correctly, there's about 177 hospitals that are a part of this network. And so Children's Miracle Network has been around since 1983, You're raising money for these hospitals. Um, and this money is used for all sorts of things, um, you know, obviously treatment, uh, but research and development, uh, medical equipment, you know, you name it, just about anything that this money can be used for is used for in order to... Uh, have these hospitals be able to do and do what they do and treat these children to the best of their ability because these children come in with all sorts of ailments you know uh mostly cancer i mean cancer up the wazoo but uh other things too not just that but you know uh, serious injury serious illness um even psychological um type things that they may need all sorts of stuff um you know uh, you know operations all, all kinds of stuff that this might goes for um and and really without what the children's miracle network does and, and by extension what we at extra life do um these hospitals really wouldn't be able to do what they do um so at the end of the day what we do here at extra life we're real life heroes for kids because uh we're just an extension of what the children's miracle network does you know the children's miracle network is known for those stylized balloons uh, that you'll walk into your local business and see every now and again throughout the year. Uh, you donate a dollar, you get your name, or you write a message on the balloon, the business will tack it up on the wall somewhere. Well, that's what Extra Life is in spades, except, you know, for, for a lot of, well, there, there are a few important differences. Number one, namely, is that this is uh, for gamers by gamers, uh, you might say. Uh, you know, Extra Life started out um, through gaming uh, back in 2008 
um, in Austin, Texas is a small, real small fund uh, raiser for the, the Children's Hospital down in Austin, Texas, as I recall, for, um, I got a point because I switched my camera, so I got to make sure I point the other way, for um, a young girl, in memory of a young girl named Victoria Edmond. Um, that's how Extra Life got started, you know, through her, 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 do that again, tragic uh, death due to, um, you know, disease. And, and and a type of cancer, as I recall. Um, oh, am I lagging here? Okay. Make sure I got to watch my stream here on my couch. Just make sure I'm not lagging too much. Yes, there we go. Thank you, Dog Day. Yes, learn about Victoria there. So that's how it all got started back in 2008. Um, you know, so it, 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 it it's for us gamers uh, to be, as I said, real-life heroes for kids. And, and we can do that in, uh, you know, basically three, really three simple steps. If I point the right way. Ha-ha. <laughs> First of all, we go down to www.extra-life.org, and you can sign up right there. You can get all the information you really need uh, right there at uh, the website. Um, it only takes a you know a couple of minutes to sign up, and you're really ready to go and start your participation. Um, it's uh, free to participate, um, but and you do get rewarded, um, you know, for meeting certain fundraising goals. You, you know, you can get uh, a discount code for a nice wooden iPhone case. We get discount codes for streaming software, uh, namely XSplit, because XSplit is a partner with uh, Extra Life. Um, you know, discount codes for games and all, all sorts of good stuff like that. And then, um, you know, like I said, you know, it's it's free to sign up. Uh, quick and easy and step two is you know once you are signed up then you go out there you tell your friends you tell your family if you happen to be a streamer it's not absolutely not required that you do stream or do what we are doing right now um, you, to be successful um, but if you are you go out there and tell everybody who loves watching you stream uh, what you're doing and why you're doing it you know and then you point them to your participant page that you get when you sign up you got to point the right way there. So, uh, yeah, and, and the participant page you get is, is you, you get a template, and it, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't really have to do anything with it, but, of course, you can customize it if you so desire. And so step three is you start your fundraising. You know, the only thing that we require here at Extra Life is that you play um, 24 hours worth of games for, for the fundraising. Um, but that you can do uh, throughout the year. The fundraising year is January 1st through December 31st. Now, of course, you could do it like many of us do it right on National Game Day, which is November 4th and 5th uh, this year, which makes it 25 hours because of daylight saving time again. So that's what a lot of us do. You know, we do our 24 slash 25 hour marathon and all that. But again, you know, it's very open to how you want to do it. You don't have to do uh, a 25 hour marathon on that weekend. You can do it the weekend before, the weekend after, or you can do it next weekend. You can do it sometime in December, whenever you want to do it. Or you can break it up too. You can do two 12 hour days. You can do three eight hour days. Uh, you can do one hour uh, per day for 24 days throughout the year. Again, it's very, very um, open for how you do the fundraising. Um, and it's fun. At the end of the day, it's great fun for a great cause. And um, so, like I said, free to, to participate at the classic level. But we do what we have what we call is a platinum level. And uh, you simply pay a $15 registration fee when you sign up or any time thereafter. You can sign up as a classic participant. And uh, go ahead and do that, but and uh, uh, you can upgrade later within the same calendar year. So if you sign up, say today, April 18th, uh, you can sign up as a class global participant. And say, hey, you know what? Uh, I want to go the extra mile. I want to be a platinum level participant. So come November on game day, you can actually upgrade yourself. Uh, to a platinum level participant by going back in and just paying that $50 registration fee. And that opens up, um, as Dog Day says, a higher tier of rewards. Again, one of which is the official Extra Life t-shirt. And let me do this. Ha, ha, ha. So this is actually the first t-shirt I got. Uh, this is my fifth year participating. So this was from my first year participating in 2013. So I'm very proud to wear that. And uh, you qualify for that as a platinum level participant if you can raise $200 uh, for the hospital you choose when you sign up. So the other uh, rewards for for that uh, are at the $500 and $1,000 fundraising levels. And they're real nice Olympic style type uh, medallions. One silver and one is, is gold, as I recall. So that's what I'm shooting for now. You know, I get my t-shirt every year. Now I'm trying to shoot for 
uh, the medals and uh, I'll, I'll tell you how I'm going to try to do that this year but again this is my fifth year doing it I love it every year um, you know it, it, it's great for us as a gaming community to be involved with this uh, and obviously again it, it's great for these hospitals for us to be able to do what we do um, in 2016 we have raised almost nine point seven million dollars I mean we were only uh, I think uh, maybe ten thousand dollars shy not 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 that far off of nine point seven million dollars I think it was nine point six three four something somewhere around that number uh, was the exact number uh, raised for 2016 that's the most we have raised um, in, in a single year so far that's great stuff so we're, we're well on our way to ten million dollars this year uh, but we need everybody's help to do it and uh, that, that's by signing up you know the more people we have signed up the more people we have participate the quicker and easier it will be to hit that ten million dollar mark this year so uh, that's really extra life in the in the a walnut sized nutshell so um, again if anyone has any questions out there you know you can ask away in chat or you know hit us up in our wonderful community you know we've got we got dog day here uh, I I'm here and of course if we can't answer any of your questions well you know like I said we have a great community we can point you to to get the questions answered that you need but in the meantime let's get on with what we do here uh, as participants and that's play games and talk about extra life and I hope to raise some money so like I said we're going into uh, let me switch my window here there we go City Skylines again, so we're going to continue our game. And even if you think you can't earn a ton of money, it's okay. Every little bit helps. I've only raised $24 so far and spreading the word. Exactly. Um, Daytona. Uh, dog Day. Dog Daytona. I got to get that right. Dog Day. I like Dog Day. Or Dog. Dog's even quicker and easier. Um, dog's right. You know, um, it doesn't really amount you rate. Like I said, you don't have to be a streamer to participate. We have a lot, a lot of successful participants. We have over 55,000 participants each year now. Um, and, and very many of them do not stream and are very successful. But like, uh, like Dog Daytona says, the amount of money that you raise isn't really that important because again, you know, we've raised $9.7 million dollars um just a lot of it one dollar at a time just like children's miracle network i mean really children's miracle network is known for that one dollar at a time fundraising and since 1983 i think i, I forget the number now but they've raised over over a billion dollars or, or something to that extent and one dollar at a time so even one dollar can make a difference in a child's life that was that was one of my big things uh, for 2016 was my hashtag that I used on Twitter hashtag one dollar at a time because one dollar can really make a difference in the child's life one dollar can buy a bottle uh, a specialized bottle that allows a, a child with a mouth deformity or a cleft lip or anything like that to be able to nurse off of that bottle so even one dollar can can really make a difference in saving a child's life so whether you can raise one dollar five dollars ten dollars or you know some of our bigger members of course you know thousands of dollars it doesn't matter the important thing is is that everybody comes in and participates and that and that is the one thing that that i am that uh is is my soapbox for this year is that uh whoever decides to participate and every single participant here within extra life should be able to write raise something because you can donate to yourself and that's really an important thing to remember um you can donate to yourself through your own participant page um, and that does a couple of things. Not only does that, it, obviously, that helps the kids at the hospital you choose to, to, to uh, represent, uh, choose to support. Um, obviously, it helps, you know, e again, even $1 or $5 if you do it. Uh, but that also, you know, when, when you're telling people, hey, come, come help raise money, you know, come support me and my hospital. Uh, you know, if they see you've already got a donation in, even if it's from yourself, you know, that tells people, hey, this guy's serious about what he's doing, or girl, obviously, uh, serious about what he's doing, and he supports his own cause, and that'll make people more inclined to donate to your cause if you're donating to yourself. So I do that, I, I do that constantly throughout the year. Um, what I try to do, I usually try to, to run a couple of mini-thons uh, throughout the year. I just had one uh, about a month and a half ago, the beginning of March, I ran like an eight-hour mini-thon uh, playing some indie games um, that I have um, 
And so for each game uh, that I played for an hour and a half to two hours, I donated one dollar uh, to myself while on stream. And at the end of the day, I was able to raise an extra fifteen dollars uh, through somebody else donating because of what I was doing. So very easy, very easy uh, to, to to raise just e just even a, a nominal amount of money if you even if you you know donate one dollar or five dollars to yourself right at the outset there. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. We're in our Extra Life City here. We still have that parcel of land we bought a couple of episodes ago and still haven't done anything with. We got in our extra power supply, so we should be good with power. We threw down some police stations and stuff, so what we were working on was over here in our little cul-de-sac there. There's our high school that we built last time. Let me rotate here. There we go. What we were trying to do is get this roadway here built in. Uh, that way we can loop, sort of loop around in through this way. You know what I'm going to do? Let me do this real quick because that is, I, I don't know how loud it is uh, out there in the internet world, but that's kind of loud in my headphones here. So I want to just, I know the, the music sometimes goes up, sometimes goes down. So what we're going to do is just, uh, there we go, we're going to bump this down just to about 50% so I don't get distracted with how loud the music can be sometimes here. All right, so what were we doing? We were uh, zooming in and just admiring the scenery. I, I could actually end up doing this for two hours just looking at the detail here of the game. But no, we, we actually do want to get some building going here. Yeah, uh, see, uh, you have a ton of people in your guild who do not stream but help and raise money and make a big difference. Yes, exactly. Like I said, you know, obviously being a streamer helps because you can reach a wider audience. But even so, you know, this is my fifth year doing it. Um, on average, I've raised about 200 to $250 uh, for the last four years that I've done this. And most of that has just been from friends and family. You know, on occasion, I'll, I'll have somebody who's watched my streams or watched my videos on YouTube throw, you know, a few bucks my way. But for the most part, you know, I, I'm say, I think a grand total now I'm over a thousand dollars, um, at, to date right now. Um, and I would say probably about 90% of that has just been from friends and family, um, who, you know, support what I'm doing. Um, so even being a streamer, you know, um, you know, I'm a small time streamer, you know, I just have a small audience. Um, you know, so, so just because you're not a streamer doesn't mean you can't, uh, raise, you know, money to make a difference is what I'm trying to say in my, uh, convoluted way there. Uh, and like I said, you know, we actually do have quite a few people, um, that I don't know personally. Oh. My alarm's going off. I have to do. I have to multitask tonight because I do have in my community. We do have a uh, raid that's going to be going on here, so we'll be doing some multitasking here while we get ready for that. Uh, so what we want to do is try to build this roadway here. So I didn't like how the roadway was uh, turning out initially. So I know distance too short. So we're going to have to go sort of like that I think so this isn't gonna be oh you guys didn't like that really sorry this is not going to be a very pretty road um, do I have this curved or not is it in curved mode no so I don't have a free form will it be free form Let's go back to curve here. I know it's already occupied. This is the one trouble I've had with this game is trying to get some of the roads to work the way I want. Freeform isn't really freeform in the sense that I think of it. So we'll just have to do it this way. And we'll have to get ready for my raid here. We 
we want to go out sort of that way. There we go. Do this right quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go back over here, will we? Will we? Nah. Thanks. Yeah, I forgot I had I had a raid scheduled when I decided to pick up this shift here to make up for my missed slot yesterday. So I didn't want to miss too much city skylines here. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Ah, there we go. All right, let's do this real quick so I can switch into my Discord here. This, of course, Discord wants to lock up on me. Here we go. You do just tell me who we're going. All right. Good to go. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. So again, if anybody has any questions about Extra Life, uh, please ask away. Like I said, this is my fifth year doing it. I got involved with Extra Life um, and found out about Extra Life and got involved through Extra Life actually through Try On Worlds, um, a game developer, and they've done... Uh, they've done a, they've done several games. Um, they're most notably um, Rift. Uh, I think is sort of their flagship game. Uh, but I actually got involved with them through um, uh, Defiance, which was the multi multimedia um, uh, crossover game. Uh, they're, they're sort of uh, first person shooter MMO. Uh, which was connected to uh, a sci-fi television show. And it was through playing that game and, and interacting with, um, uh, you know, um, players and people on their community forums that I found out about Extra Life because uh, Trial Worlds is a corporate partner with Extra Life. Um, oh, I, uh, let's do that. Hold on. Let's go back here so I can see my OBS. Um Resume game, thank you. Um, so, and Try on Worlds does a lot of giveaways and stuff like that too in game for participating on their team. Um, so that that's sort of like one of the the um, uh, unmentioned, I think, benefits of being an extra life participant. That you know you can actually, if you play Try on World games like Rift, uh, Davillion, uh, Defiance, um, Atlas Reactor, Trove. Which, as a matter of fact, we do. Uh, we're going to be given try on lots of love over the next uh, two or three weeks. As a matter of fact, because in Trove, uh, they're they're sort of Minecraft esque game. I guess we'll do it like that. Yeah, I don't like that, but that's all right. We'll we'll live with that. Still got a little spot in there. Um, try on um, is actually having a a special extra life DLC uh, for Trove. Um, so, uh, right here on the stream team, um, what we're doing right here on Extra Life over the next couple of weeks is, uh, playing Trove. We're all going to be playing Trove to one extent or another. As a matter of fact, I'll be back here tomorrow evening from 5 to 7 p.m. with my eldest daughter to play some Trove because, uh, she's more into that than I am. I, you know, I, I was actually, uh, a beta founder with Trove. Um, oh, we're raiding. Let me follow. But so, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm just those like uh, sandbox building type games. Yeah, I I am just not good at them. <laughs> just not good whatsoever at them. Um, yeah, my building is sort of just. Hey, I have walls and. 
I, I build a staircase to the sky in Trove. Uh, I just kept building up as far as I can, but that, that's about my, my ability in, in Trove. But uh, yeah, we'll, I'll be on tomorrow. I believe the time again is 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on the Extra Life for Kids channel. Uh, playing Trove and then uh, me and the kiddo will be back on May 3rd. Uh, same time for the uh, for the same thing. So uh, yes, uh, we don't have many details about the, the DLC yet. They're sort of building the hype train um, day by day, week by week. Uh, but as soon as I have some more details, I will we'll definitely be talking about that. Um, so I'll be really excited to uh, be giving try on a little bit of extra love uh, tomorrow and on May 3rd, as we all will here, of course. Because again, you know, Trine is a corporate partner of Extra Life. So, you know, what the corporate partners do is enable Extra Life to run, uh, you know, to run their back end um, and do so without having to take. Uh, I wanted to leave those because I think I'm going to pull the roadway out from there. But you know what? Maybe I'll pull the roadway out from here. I don't know. Let me zoom out here and see what, how I want to do. That's actually not too bad when I zoom out too far. That's a little, little uh, geometric pattern there. Uh, but I was saying, yeah, um, what Extra Life does, or yeah, and what the court partners do is allow Extra Life to be able to run their back end without having to take any money from donations. The one important thing I have not yet mentioned is that um, you know, a hundred percent of what is donated through participant pages, um, it goes directly to the respective hospitals of the gamer. Um, you know, we don't get any, we're not here to, to get any of this money. Again, we get our own rewards, um, from extra life. Um, again, and the corporate partners make, make that possible. Um, so, you know, we're, we're here just to help the kids of our hospitals and to help extra life. Um, and again, Extra Life doesn't take any of that money because the corporate partners help them run their, their you know, back end and their overhead and stuff like that. So 100% of what is donated um, goes directly to the hospital. So that nine, almost 9.7 million we raised last year, that's exactly what was donated. Every single penny of that was uh, raised through those donations and every single penny of it went to the hospitals. So not a whole lot of charities and fundraising organizations can claim that uh, that 100 percent goes to whatever they're raising the money for so that's a, that's another good reason to be involved with extra life because extra life can uh claim that honor of 100 percent goes to helping the kids of these hospitals all right so we'll build that up oh good look at that we've got more commercial demand so i can start building up some commercial here over here which is what I've been waiting for. So let's throw down some commercial here. Um, we definitely want to throw commercial down here. Alright, what's this all about here? What are you all about? Oh, you're an abandoned building. Well, that's stinky. We don't want no abandoned buildings. Zero workers, zero jobs available. Yeah, well, I know. Abandoned. The busy corner shop. Hmm. I know it can't level up. Well, hopefully we'll get some more... Uh, hopefully it won't be abandoned for too much longer. Unless, of course, I just want to bulldoze it. Which I could. Busy corner shop. Well, maybe that's why it's abandoned. Because we've got like three busy corner shops right here. And, uh, yeah, so you know what? Make sure I'm not... Keep forgetting, it's like in SimCity, I can go in sandbox mode where money doesn't matter. Here, I, I don't have that option. At least I haven't been able to figure it. Figure that out. Yeah, we get, uh, we get nothing at all. Uh, like, I raise money for, uh, Stollery Children's Hospital. So that is a hospital in Edmonton. Ah, yes. Excellent. <laughs> what is she? Oh, she's playing Borderlands. Okay. Showing the kitchen love. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so let me bulldoze this puppy here. I don't like abandoned buildings in my city. Um, I just gotta find my bulldozer. Bulldozer, is this it? Uh, where is it? It's, oh, uh, there you are, way over there. I knew, I knew you were here somewhere. See, this is sort of why I've wanted to um, do a do an ongoing play session for 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 most of what I've done here since uh, I joined the stream team back in June. No, I didn't want to do that. Joined the stream team back in June. I've played like a different game every day, uh, or every every stream I've done. No, 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 no. I want to D zone. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, good. Um. Because I have a ton of games I really enjoy playing and want to play. Uh, but I'm at the point now where I just don't have enough time to do them all. Um, and when I finally do one and then and then finally get back to it, I, I have to relearn how to play all over again. So what I'm doing now, at least uh, in this case for, for my Extra Life streams, um, all the way through June, is, you know, just doing the same game for a month at a time that way I can get more used to it I can get more game time in it showcase it to everybody out there and have fun with everybody out there these cool games so I'm going into the city building theme here again city skylines for the month of April then we'll be kicking it in with a with a mega sim city uh, um, um, I don't want to say showcase sim city um, I guess it's sort of extend I don't want to say marathon either, whatever that word is. Um, a block. Well, I'll be starting out in SimCity Classic and doing what we're doing here. Building a city up for scratch during the month of May. I'm going to port that city over into SimCity 2000 for the month of June. And then port that over uh, for July into SimCity 3000. I have passed by a few times. Someone in my guild has been... Uh, in there with uh, their kid for a few uh, weeks and my heart goes out to them yes indeed yeah that's one of the reasons why I um, uh, continue to do this year in and year out you know I, I have two kids of my own um, and like I said you know I, I learned about extra life through um, you know playing defiance um, at try on worlds um, or you know f uh, via try on worlds uh, and I have to say, the first time I actually watched, uh, which I, I, you know, with, with this overlay, I don't have uh, Tori's, um, Tori's banner up there. Uh, but the first time I watched her story, I, I cried because, you know, I could just feel for, for her parents. Um, you know, because Tori was only a little bit older than my oldest daughter right now when she got sick. Um, and, and had her years-long battle with this disease. Um, before finally succumbing to it and, and you know I, I cry every time I watch it um, you know we have a few videos and in fact I'll be showing one probably about 20 minutes or, 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 or so uh, one of our extra life stories and I you know I, I, I pretty much start welling up uh, you know, whenever I watch one of them um, because as a parent you know it just I, I you know you can't help but put yourself in that position and, and what if it was my child um, so I'm fortunate that I have two, you know, normally healthy kids, I guess I could say. Um, oh, you know, what? I'm, I'm trying to figure out why nothing is building, but that's because I paused it. There we go. Let's, let, shall we unpause? Thank you. Uh, but you, you never know what the future can bring. Um, so, so I'm doing this in part because I want to help those kids out there. I want to help those families and those parents out there. Um, who are going through uh, this really traumatic time um, at the end of the day, you know. Um, and so I, I want to be able to do what I can uh, to, to ease the pain and ease the suffering a little bit. But, you know, it's also, you never know what the future can bring. You know, it could, you know, God forbid, knock on wood, you know, next month I could be taking one of my kids uh, to my hospital um for some reason so you know it's one of those things where you know i can if the, the day ever comes that we need to do that i can walk into the hospital and know hey you know what i did my part um 
to help this hospital so they can now help my child. Um, yeah, Daytona, you cry with all of them. I have to mute them or I can't do anything for the rest of the day. I'm not a parent, but I still care to the point that brings me tears. Yes, ab absolutely. A anybody with, it, with a sense of empathy uh, has to feel uh, watching watching these um, videos. You know, and, and I always say when, when, when I play them is, you know, you know we, have some, we have some happy ending stories and we have some sad ending stories, you know. Happy ending ones, you know, the, the child, you know, the child may not be cured, but the child is coping, you know, they're getting the treatment they need. The child is able to, to, to exist and survive and lead a, as normal a life as they can. Fortunately, we don't have, you know, we have some of the sad ending stories that, you know, end up like Tori. You know, and eventually, you know, the child succumbs to whatever disease or cancer ails them. And, you know, we have one, we, one in particular, in addition to, to Tori's story, um, Dom's story, um, Dominic Mooney, who is, um, was the son of uh, an actual stream team member we have here in Participant. Um, you know, his story gets me every time and it's even harder because I, I don't personally, I, I've never met, um, the Roonies, um, Sean and Trish, Trish personally, but I have interacted with them through Extra Life and, and you know, through, uh, our stream team membership. Um, so, you know, every time I watch Dom's story, it's like, man, it, it's friggin', it, it kills me. Um. And, and, you know, I cry every time I watch that. So, you know, I, I'll, you know, I'm rotating through all the stories and videos that I have here. So Dom's will be coming up in a couple of weeks. And I just, I, I can't, I can't even watch it without being able to hear it. I have to turn away and, and do something else while it's playing. Because it just, it gets me every time. Um, yeah, so they, they, that's why I do it here. Because at the end of the day, like I say, I, you know, I, I want to do what I can to make sure Extra Life has more... Um, happy ending stories than they do the sad ending stories. That's why I encourage everybody to, to participate. The more, like I said, the more participants we have, uh, you know, the more money we can raise. You know, the, the more research can be done, and, and the more things like you know, like I'm, like uh, I'll explain in a little bit before I go into the video with my hospital. You know, the more um, I don't want to say unique, but groundbreaking treatments and groundbreaking uh, procedures can be done. Uh, with this money to make a difference in the child's life and, and at the end of the day you know it's through what we do with extra life that you know one day a cure for cancer can be found a cure for childhood um whatever you know you name a disease whatever disease it is you know this money will one day go for, for finding a cure for that um so that's why I'll, I'll be doing this for as long as i am able to do this year in and year out all right, so we need water. So let me get into my water here before I start going all emotional, even without the video. I knew, I knew that that little corner there was going to come back and bite me. <laughs> of course, that's where they want to build. Uh, all right, so we'll just do this. We will just. Um, I don't know what's closer. I guess this ends a little bit closer. So we're just going to run a pipe. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. I've got, I got to click again. There we go. Nope, that's all we need. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we should be... Uh, we are good to go with the water. Ooh, it's nighttime. Nighttime, nighttime. Uh-oh. The police are on the move. Our vacation was extended. Uh, could someone uh, water the plants and stuff? Oh, that's my police station, isn't it? Oh, no, it's the Dale residence. Uh-oh. Something's going on at the Dale residence. I didn't see if they let anybody away with handcuffs. In handcuffs. Hmm. Interesting. Two adults, one child. Three uneducated. Well, that's no good. We need we need some more edu edu edumacations here. 
I mean, I should have fairly decent coverage with my educational buildings. Uh, all right, let me go into education here. I should bring up. Come on, Clicky. Come on, Clicky. If uh, if anybody sees the stream start to get laggy, please let me know. I know uh, I've actually had um, knock on wood um, and and you know all, all the good luck charms and all that stuff. Um, I haven't had too many problems with OBS for a while here. Um, doing my extra life stream team streams, so we sort of want to keep it that way. I I know in the beginning I had problems up the wazoo. Uh, but yeah, I finally think I hit upon the right amount of settings that, uh, get us where we need to be to have some good, good performing streams here. So we are a little low on the education front here. Um, so those are, that's my grade school. That's my other grade school, and then of course we've got the high school here. Um, I have a school elsewhere. Let me zoom out here. Oh no, nope, not that far. All right, that's it then. Okay, so I will definitely want to build another school here. Of course, it needs to be placed roadside, so I think. I'm trying to see what would give me the most bang for the buck, and that, that's actually probably putting it out here. So it gives me. Probably if I go right here. Right, yeah, because that'll fill in my little cul de sac we just created fairly decently, and then that'll give me. Give me enough uh, coverage uh, when I start building out this way. And this is our university, right? Yes. So a population of 7,000 seems to unlock quite a few things. So I'm going to have to uh, work on that. Ten thousand. Um, hmm. Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful uh, sun of eyes. Paradise on Lord. So what I'm gonna want to do is remember to, because I don't want to build it quite yet. I wanted my funds to, my funds to build up a little bit. Uh, let's go back this way here, please. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just go escape that. Thank you. We gotta get some funds building up here a little bit more here. I think we're still in the green for the most part, but we got a long ways to go. I need I need a lot higher population. So our income. So I think if I'm reading this right, this is what I'm actually pulling down. We oh total expenses, okay. Um weekly total income. So we're pulling down in the ballpark of about three million. Uh, Three million bucks. I forget what the, the the actual money is called here, and I'm so used to to the the simoleons in the Sim City series, so I'll probably just end up calling it uh, City Moleons or something here. Our taxes there. We don't have any high density stuff, so our budget. Don't really want to play well with that, but definitely don't want to take any loans. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to have to keep um, keep throwing down more residential zones because we have a high demand for it. So we might as well just keep zoning, zoning, zoning. So what I'll do is this. You know what? I did. I did want to check police and fire coverage too. Yeah, so this is our police coverage. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get you out of here. So, yeah, we're a little low on police coverage over here now, so that's going to end up being a problem. 
Uh, fire coverage. Yeah, so we're going to have to build police fire and, you know, I don't know how many hospitals I actually have here. Oh, hospital coverage, it looks like we're okay on. Alright, I got two hospitals. It looks like we've still got pretty decent coverage hospital-wise. So, okay, we're good on that. No transportation yet. Yeah, I don't, oh, I'm almost at 2400. Yeah, so there, there is a new uh, DLC coming for um, Skylines here in May. So what I'm actually going to do, since there, there are actually five Mondays in May, um, the way it works out now, um, the first four are going to be the SimCity Classic, but what I'm going to end up doing is popping back in here on May 29th, I think is, is, that, uh, is that Monday, the last Monday, uh, for Sea Skylines. Um, cause hopefully, I think Le, Le Jerk was supposed to hook me up, um, with that DLC, uh, when he was, uh, when it releases or, or when, uh, the general public can sort of get their hands on it. So I'm hoping he, uh, hooks, I'm hoping he does hook me up with that, uh, DLC because he can add all sorts of, I think there's hot air balloons and all sorts of other fun, uh, travel type stuff, uh, with that DLC. Where are we at here? Okay, in a few minutes we'll be uh, running into our commercial. Or not commercial, but our video. So let me see here. So I'm going to have to plan out for school, police, and fire. Uh, with my zoning here. So I'm trying to see what would be the least problematic. And it, it would almost... We'd almost be pulling the road out here, because uh, that would minimize. Um, oh, itchy ear! Oh, is it raining again? Yeah, it's raining again. That would minimize. Um, How much zo how much uh, zonable area I lose here? Okay, so, um, let me do this. Good, we're almost, okay, yeah, we are, we are making a, a fair amount of cash here. So what I'm going to want to do is bring a bit of a road in here. I think I'll do what I did. Uh, did I do that here? Yeah, back here where I put the dog park and stuff. Um, oh, you know, I never zoned over there either, did I? And throw in a little, little dirt road here. I think if I do it here... That way I can make use of... I uh, gotta get the angle just right here. See, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose this corner here if I do it that way. If I do it this way, I'm definitely losing something. Let me zoom in here. I'm gonna get a little bit more control over this. Yeah, I don't. See, tilt it back. Yeah, I get it. We'll just. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Dug a hole in my backyard. Put a bunch of canned fruit and water bottles. Oh, I don't know who did that. So we'll uh, take you right there. Oh, well, okay. Well, not, all right. Well, that did. Uh, I move things. Okay, so that's not too. All right, that's not too bad. All right, that's all right. Wow, that ch that changed this a bit, though. How about that? Airbrow Thotland. 
So, okay, let's uh, head back over here. You still have some commercial demand? Yeah, we still have some commercial demand, which isn't too bad. I'm trying to think what why I wouldn't have zoned there yet. I think I was definitely going to do commercial here, though. Give me a buffer between the industrial. I think I was still going to make this residential, though. So we got some commercial there. Maybe, maybe I should make this commercial here. Let me do this. I do see some pads here I want to uh, sort of see what forms there. I think I'll do... At least do those residential. Still have so much wasted space here too, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I think I'm gonna try to pull this road right along this way here, right into there. Was I gonna do a road? I think I did that road across there, yeah, so I didn't do anything. Yeah, see, that's what I did last time, too, is pull this road across that way I can zone up there a bit. Let's take a look at our park. I don't think I've seen our park too close in action here yet. In the rain. Poor puppies getting wet. Sorry, I had to dive out hearing all that sad stuff affecting me. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly, uh, yeah. I know exactly what that feels like. Matter of fact, <laughs> you pulled back just in time for me to play the uh, video here in a couple of minutes. You gotta figure out, let me, um, I gotta see whose story this is. This is Spencer's video, Spencer's story. we will be playing here for a few minutes. So, uh, while I think about what I'm going to uh, do for my city next year, uh, let me do the reintroductions. I am BJ Weiler, a.k.a. Real Millennium Group. So, uh, if you see either BJ Weiler or Real Millennium Group in, uh, in chat somewhere out there yeah me and my split personality uh, let me go back that way oh go back this way um and we are streaming here on the official extra life for kids channel uh just uh having some fun by talking a little bit of uh, about what Extra Life is, what it, we do, what I do, how I'm involved, and all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, you know, anyone interested uh, can sign up at www.extra-life.org. It's free to participate um, at the classic level. If you want to go a little bit of the extra mile, you just pay a $15 registration fee and you can become a platinum mem level member. Um, at But at either level, uh, we get a sort of bling rewarded. For meeting certain fundraising goals uh, anywhere from five dollars ten dollars all the way up to to one thousand dollars we get rewarded um, as a platinum level participant yes thank you for all those links too um and so yeah and playing games and talking and having fun uh but what we got coming up here now you know i like i said i i've been doing I, this is my fifth year doing extra life i got four years under the belt i've raised just over a thousand dollars for my hospital which is the children's hospital of philadelphia um and one of the things i had mentioned you know about 20 30 minutes ago talking with uh dog day um you know the the money that we raise here again 100 percent of what is donated goes directly to the hospitals goes to helping the kids um so we don't get any of that donation money um, Extra Life doesn't take any of that donation donation money. You know there are corporate partners that uh, provide the, the the rewards that we get as participants, and also provide um, um, Extra Life with with the back end the coverage of their expenses. So 100% of the money that is donated can go to the kids' hospitals. Um, I lost my train of thought here because I just remembered I gotta save this and probably exit out of the game so the video doesn't stutter. Um, let me save the game here. Like I said this is my fifth year at extra life, but uh, yeah, one of the things I mentioned that you know the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and this again uh, the important thing that 100% of this money um, goes to 
um, these hospitals is that it, it allows the hospitals to do things um, like groundbreaking treatment, you know, research and development, and, and, and really groundbreaking um, procedures. And that's, uh, you know, in, I, I being involved with my hospital and checking out some of their stories uh, for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, which we affectionately call CHOP, um, they were actually, uh, we were actually the first hospital to do, do um, a, a dual um, hand replacement surgery. Um, it, was, it was a child, I guess, I, I forget, um, he was about five or six years old, but I actually played the, the first, there's two videos in regards to this that I actually played um, for a special stream I did on my channel with my kids. Um, so check my YouTube out for that. Um, it's, it's the Easter egg uh, fundraising um, show that I did. Um, uh, but they were actually the, the first hospital in the world to successfully transplant um, hands uh, uh, on, onto Zion, is the child's name. Um, I guess, like I said, I think he was about five or six or when he had the surgery. Um, you know, he had to have his hands amputated due to, uh, uh, hands and feet, as a matter of fact, amputated uh, due to a disease he had when he was two years old. Um, and, and thanks to, in part to the money raised by the Children's Medical Network and us here at Extra Life, um, you know, the hospital was able to perform this, this unique surgery and give Zion two working functional hands um, and it, it help him lead a, 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 you know, somewhat normal life again. And so that's why stuff like Extra Life is very important uh, for things like that, that the money that we raise here um, goes to, to helping kids like Zion and, and who we're about to see here, um, Spencer. So don't under, again, don't underestimate um, your value uh, as a participant in Extra Life. Again, even a couple of bucks can make a difference in a child's life. Um, so uh, let's take a break here. Let's take a look at Spencer's video and sort of see, um, you know, what Extra Life does to help here, what the Children's Medical Network does to help. And then we'll be back on the flip side for a little bit more of City Skylines. Uh, and like I said, uh, just, just to hedge my bets here so we don't uh, have problems with the video. Uh, just in case, because just in case to give OBS a little bit of a break here, we will exit out of the game. Um, yeah, because we can just load it up before the video ends here. And uh, we'll go right on to uh, Spencer's video. So this is BJ Water saying, uh, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Check out Spencer's video here. And uh, hopefully it will encourage some of you to sign up and participate at www.extra-life.org. And there we have it, Spencer's story. Um, again, yeah, you know, just I, I, you know, obviously through OBS, I don't have the ability to hear the videos, which is probably a good thing. But you know, just reading when, when they're interviewing Spencer and, and just his comment about humor and stuff like that, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, that, you know, I don't know actually how old he is because, uh, like I say, I, I try to avoid watching these if at all possible. But you know what? No, just you know, just the thought process of what he has to go through and yet you know this this is you know this is the way he thinks and you know he's just the kid's friggin brilliant you know just just his comment about humor and stuff like that you know it, it's and again th th that's what extra life does you know extra life saved spencer so you know i i can't stress enough how important it is for anyone who plays games i mean you don't have to be a hardcore gamer you just got to be able to play a game, you know, and pretty much anybody and everybody can play a game. You know, you can play PC games, you can play, you know, console games like the Xbox One, the PS4, or what, oh, I, I got my old NES and my Game Boy and SNES. Um, you know, you can play tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons, or say, you know, the, the board games like Monopoly, um, you know, Ticket to Ride, Dragonology. Um... You know, obviously PC games and all, all that sort, but but it's not even limited to that. You know, you can go out uh, in your backyard and get a family game of baseball together, or or um, 
you know, whatever, whatever those family games now or the tailgating games we got now. There's so many of them. I don't even know the names of, of half of them, but, you know, like the sandbag toss or, or stuff like that. Um, or you can go out and go bowling. You can go to a mini golf course, play some mini golf. You can go to a regular golf course. There's all sorts of things. You, hey, yo, Dash, there's, there's my Monday afternoon, mate. Um, how you doing today, buddy? Um, so, so if you can do any one of those things, you can participate in extra life. You can, you can make a difference in the life of a child like Spencer. And like I said, in the life of a child like Zion, who, 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 you know, had that world changing experience at the, the children's hospital of Philadelphia to be able to get two functioning hands back. Um, that's what extra life is. That's what extra life does. Um, and like uh, even, even Dog Day said earlier in chat here, if I let me scroll back here and say, it, you know, you know what Dog Day says, um, and allow family to have nurses for kids who need 24-hour care. Um, some of the money goes to that, and tons of other things. Exactly. You know, again, 100% of what's donated goes to these hospitals and goes to all sorts of things. Um, in Dom's story, um, you know, they make mention of the fact that you know. While Dom was in the hospital, you know, they, they had these music therapy sessions and, and stuff like that that helped Dom keep his spirit up. But that's where some of that money goes for it. Things like quality of life, things like music therapy, art classes, the, the ability to get video games for these kids and, and stuff like that. So, uh, so Rand, can you play like MS DOS and older PC games? Yes. As a matter, yes, in, indeed you can. Um, in fact, I have done that. Right here on the stream team, as a matter of fact, uh, in some of my past streams. And in fact, I'll be sort of doing that um, starting next month when I do SimCity Classic. Um, yeah, it's really easy to do that uh, if you have a virtual machine. And if you have Windows 7, you actually have a virtual machine built in um, with Windows 7. But um, I prefer there, there is a standalone installation of it. I, now, again, with Windows 8 and Windows 10, I know Windows 8 had it built into. I played around a little bit with that. I'm not so much for... Um, I don't know. Uh, I pretty much know nothing about Windows 10 at this point because I sort of got frustrated with Windows, how they did Windows 8. Now I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, so I'm sticking with Windows 7, but yes. Um... I mean you personally. I may have some PC games that I may be getting. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I've, I've done quite a few. Um, yeah, if they can be played in a virtual machine, I, I could probably play them. Um, the only ones I have trouble playing at the moment uh, or have had trouble getting to work are sort of those in-between games. Um, sort of uh, the, the, I would say, mid to late 90s, early 2000s games. Um, or I, I guess I should say probably 2000s, the early 2000s, right around that area. Because I know like the Stronghold games and all that kind of stuff were, were mid to late 90s and I have no problem with them. It sort of depends on the graphics that they require. If it's the early 3D stuff, I sort of have trouble with them because they won't run very well, if at all, in modern, uh, in my Windows 7 system. And, they, and the virtual machine doesn't have the power to be able to run them. Um, graphically speaking, but anything that's sort of, sort of from the the mid '90s, late '90s, depending, um, and before that, I can say I, I can almost do, you know pretty certainly run them in a virtual machine. I'll send you a message there. I have uh, like old PC CD ROMs around the house. I don't want to throw away. Hey, yeah, yeah, hit me up. Let me know what you have, and if I can use them, I most certainly uh, I will most certainly take them. And if I can't, you know, hey, you can always use them for giveaways, too. I, I'm sort of trying to figure out how I can do do giveaways for, for my fundraising as well. I sort of have one idea I've been kicking around yet uh, that uh, involves the kids doing some paintings. Um, and I sort of want to get a, a, another fundraising stream like we, we I just did our Easter egg um, paint uh, coloring stream. Um... When was that? I guess I did that Thursday or Friday whenever we did that. Um, so I sort of want to do that with, with the kids painting too and sort of use those paintings um, for giveaways for, for people who donate a certain amount of money this year to me. Um, 
but those are those are ideas you can have too that's one of the things i did want to talk about like i said at the top of the show um i encourage everybody to participate in my soapbox for the year is um no no participant no extra life participant this year should end up with zero dollars raised because you can donate to yourself and you have to i mean i encourage everybody to donate to yourself um because like i said at the top of the show it, it not only shows that you're serious about what you're doing and serious about um supporting your hospital but you know if people go to your page and see you've already got some little bit of, even if a little bit of amount of money raised to say hey okay you know i'll throw another five bucks your way uh it'll help incentivize people uh to raise money too but again you can you can do all sorts of things uh with your fundraising um you know i like i said i, I have a couple of ideas i'm kicking around you know i do you know i do my hashtag one dollar at a time uh, a lot of us at extra life do what we call 100 days of gaming um which will be starting up in july um and then a lot of us do uh like sort of gimmicky type stuff as you could say, I know, like, uh, uh, like I had mentioned, uh, Sean and Dom and Trish, uh, the Roonies, uh, they're Moonies. I, I keep forgetting, is it Mooney or Rooney? I think it's Rooney, right? Uh, Le Jerk. Oh, yes, what a wonderful and delightful game I am playing. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I'm looking forward to that new DLC next month. You know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, um, coming up next month. Yes, Rooney. That's what I thought, Rooney. Um, I, because uh, I, I know, I know a family named Mooney, and that's why I keep getting confused. My daughter goes to school with, um, with a, with a kid, and their last name is Mooney. So that's why I'm always getting confused with Mooney and Rooney. <laughs> Nudge acknowledged. Awesome. Oh, yes. Um, so yeah, we're doing this. Uh, I think we got one more week, right? Next week? What, what, what is today? The 18th? Yes, the 24th. I'll be doing this again on my regular stream show from 1 to 3 p.m. Right here on Extra Life for Kids. That will be kicking in with SimCity, but I do, like I mentioned earlier, I do plan on um, on the 20, May 29th coming back uh, to see Skylines with the new DLC and stuff. So I definitely want to take a look at that. <laughs> yes, Le Jerk knows uh, City Skylines quite well. See, it pays to, it pays to know people in Extra Life. You know, you, you you know if you play try on games, you get to play with the devs on, on their on their their extra life team uh, during game day, and they give you all sorts of in game goodies. We we here on the stream team, we get to know cool people like Lejerk and 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 Sean and Trish and Arrow Dash and all these other people. Oh, will you really nice, nice? Be at Paradox's office in a few weeks. Didn't make it. Uh, I'm just. A, yeah, he didn't make it. He's just a PR guy. But PR, as we all know in the gaming industry, very probably one of the most important jobs in the game industry is PR. I don't think we can. Un I, I don't think we as gamers can underestimate how important important that job actually is. Yeah, I did want to give a shout. I, I gave a shout out to my hospital, but I did want to give a shout out too because when you do sign up at Extra Life, um, you have the uh, option to either join a team or create a team, um, and that's a team is basically just a bunch of Extra Life participants who get together to fundraise under a a single banner. Um, you, you again, e each part each team member fundraises for their own hospital and has their own individual goal. Like my goal is two hundred fifty dollars this year. Uh, I am a member of Judgment Gaming. Uh, sometimes we'll see Battery H in the Extra Life chat here. Um, he is our team leader. Uh, we met through a Star Wars The Old Republic Guild, and he fundraises for uh, um, the Children's Hospital in New Orleans. Um, so again, you know, we we fundraise raise under the banner of Team Judgment Gaming, uh, but we again we have our individual goals, and the team goal is made up of all our individual goals. And we, we fundraise for our own individual hospitals. But it's, a, it's an additional way to, uh, to to have fun with our fundraising and stuff like that. Um, and again, we also have guilds. Guilds are a little bit different than teams. You know, a team can be made up of any participant anywhere in the world. A guild is sort of more localized. Um, and and the, sort of the primary purpose of a guild is in recruitment. Sort of what we're doing here with the stream team on the Extra Life channel. You know, we're here to talk about Extra Life. We're here to encourage people to go sign up 
at Extra Life. Um, uh, and the guild is sort of your local participants coming together to do recruiting events to encourage more people to sign up sort of like we're, what we're doing here but yes i gotta give a shout out to battery h and team judgment gaming as well and in addition to uh you know team twitch kittens aka team kittens i think it's actually i think they need the team kittens you know i don't know I, I i checked a week or two ago it's either twitch kittens or kittens live i'm pretty sure it's twitch kittens um, it's the community I'm involved with because I, I did want to bring this up, you know, with being able to to be able to know uh, Le Jerk, who is, a, a, you know, uh, a member of a game developer in the all important PR role. But uh, through it's, it's amazing through Twitch Kittens, you know, the community of Twitch Kittens, which is just a bunch of us small time streamers, um, which I think another one of us Extra Life team members is a member of um, uh, J J Studs is. In fact, he, he's the one who, who uh, you know, introduced me to the, uh, the community. Now, we're a bunch of, of, of streamers, but we also have indie developers who are members of the community, and we're able to get games and, and, and stuff like that and showcase their games, which is great. So that's one of the great things about, you know, being involved in Extra Life and gaming in general is being able to, to, to know people like this and be able to, to showcase their games and and, and you know, do good things with them by raising money for for kids hospitals it's great to be a gamer in to, today's world and trove streams yes i did mention i i thank you for reminding me i i want to mention again you know i i've mentioned trial worlds a couple of times um trial worlds in trove again it's it's sort of their their minecraft uh type game and they have an extra life specific dlc that's uh being released i think they said in may i'm pretty sure it's sometime in may um okay yeah just let me know i i i'm because i'm watching on my tablet here it looks like it's okay but you never know it, just, it depends on the network you're in whether you know the stream is sort of working or not sometimes uh, but yes trove is oh what oh boomtown oh look at that i've reached 2400 population nice that'll unlock a few things so we get transport we get uh, level three unique we get bus we get a tram we get a taxi like i said the, that new transport dlc is gonna gonna upgrade that in spades uh we get ore industry specialization we get uh oh recycling policy i think i do want to put that in recreational use extra insulation no electricity for heat only electricity for heat Cloverleaf intersection, ooh. Three-way intersection, large roundabout, ooh. Oh, highway, highway ramp. Oh, yeah, see, we unlock a bunch of stuff here. We have to start playing around with tram track, one-way tram track, okay. Ooh, heating pipes. Ooh, we get a cemetery, oh. Okay, uh, okay, good. All right, good. Glad you can see there, Ben. Yeah, but okay, good busted because I did I did want to get some public transportation in here, so I've saved some spots for that. Tram, taxi, short radio mast, emergency shelter, medical helicopter depot, boiler station, geo. Oh, good. Okay, so we get some more clean energy here. Tank reservoir, disaster response unit. So let me see here. Geothermal. Geothermal energy is not as effective as fossil fuels. It is very safe for the environment. The geothermal heating plant pumps heat from deep within the earth to distribute it to citizens. Make sure the building is connected to upgraded water pipes so it can distribute heating to the building. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's... All right, it's not... Okay, I see. Ah, I gotcha. It's a, it's a water thing. All right. Here, okay, advanced wind turbine. I thought I saw some... Oh, sweet. Sweet. All right, so we get that stuff unlocked. But yeah, so I, I do have to give a shout out to uh, Judgment Gaming and and the Twitch Kittens for all that good stuff there. Uh, being able to to showcase all these games and, and do good things with them. It's awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what I did want to do is make some use of something in here, shall we? Escape. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
Yeah, see, OB after an hour, OBS starts starts doing a little acting up, starts eating up some CPU power on me. So I start getting a little laggy here. Okay. I think this is going to... I don't think... Oh, it will fit. Will it? Will it fit? Ah, uh, okay. So, all right. Oh, the entrance. Yeah, that's right. The entrance has to be next to the roadside, so I'm going to have to do something here. All right. Let's see what else we got. See something a little small here, maybe. This was actually bigger than I anticipated, but can it? Ah, shoot, no. Some of these parts are a little bit big. small park yeah not really that small <laughs> I am also going to want to throw this in here but I don't really want to lose how much space do I actually have in here oh yes thank you thank you thank you I, I saw I was trying to read through his question there but uh Thank you for uh, for answering that question there, Leisure. No, no, no. You're facing the wrong way. There we go. See how far up. Come on, you can do it. See, I could put you here if I extend the roadway a bit, can I? Yes, sir. So let's do that. Build shelters? A, d a disaster? What? 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 No! I don't want disasters! Leave me alone with disasters. Disasters off. So what we'll do here is this. Boom. We'll just go all the way up this way. Ah, you know what? We'll go up. Ah! Alright, that's fine. That's good. That works. See, I am, I am getting a little laggy now. Thanks, OBS. OBS, you just got to give me another 30 minutes here. Then I think it's... um. See, Owning Toaster did uh, Rocket League before me. Uh, I think it's Rufia who's coming up after me today. I think that looks good. Let's throw down our Japanese garden here. Oh, did I just blow up the house? I didn't want to necessarily do that. I think I just blew up the house. Dang it, I did. Sorry, neighbors. Sorry. I, I That was completely unintentional. Unintentional. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, did he do Project Cars too? Yeah, I, I, I came on when he was, uh, when he was in Rocket League. Which I wish I could stream. Unfortunately, I just... Uh, my system can't handle streaming that. I can I can actually do a local recording with no problem at all. Okay, so they're rebuilding. Good. Uh, but yeah, trying to stream Rocket League is just painful for me. Unfortunately, I'd love to be able to stream that, but... I have to get an upgrade. To, uh, I have to upgrade my system before that ever happens. Alright, so good. We got a Japanese garden thrown in there. Let's finish zoning up here. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought Rufio was going to be on. Because uh, I, I looked at, at it earlier and I, you know what, let me kill Firefox too. Um, while I'm thinking of it. So let's finish uh, throwing all this stuff in here. Oh, look at that. We've got uh, pretty much even demand for all our industries now. Let me... Uh, Firefox starts eating some of my cycles up here too. Um, 
No, Wednesday. Wednesday is tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow again, like I said, for the... Yes, I was going to mention the Trove stream. Trove has Extra Life DLC coming up, so I'm going to be playing Trove with my eldest daughter right here tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, I was about to say, I'll be following you, LeJerk, but you're at the 1 a.m. slot, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll be a few hours later. Um, but yeah, Rufio's coming up next. Excellent. So let's get rid of that. Let's uh, get back to where we were here. It's still raining. Where are we here? Zoom out, zoom out. Where are we? Ah! So much land and I've... I've hardly done anything to, with this city. I'm such a slow builder. I, I, I am so slow with building stuff. Oh, look, oh, I got plenty of cash. I, I let me. So I want to throw in my new wind turbine too. Oh, water. Are we out of water? If I had this covered, let me see something here. Yeah, you're covered. Okay. How are we? Yeah, we got plenty of water. Okay, yeah. Want some extra live streamers to join for extra fun? I will be here. Excellent. Uh, plus, I'll be on my normal flight 8 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, that's, you know, that's one problem I'm having with myself now, especially being a member of, of, of Twitch Kittens, is that there's so many people, especially here, you know, the, during the summer I was able able to, to, to watch like a lot of a lot of, a lot of the different ex stream team streamers and stuff like that and support you guys, but now that it's like I've got like no time because I'm trying to trying to stream more myself to sort of grow my own channel. Um, so I've actually finally come up with sort of a rough schedule that I'm trying to stick to, and like that rough schedule is is pretty much <laughs> every minute of free time that I have to stream. So I, it, it kills me that I, I can't watch all you guys that I want to watch because you know it's it's like I got free time. I I got to get a video out or I got to get a stream out, you know. Hey, there's Battery. Speak of the, the the Judgment Gaming Leader Devil. Hey, Battery, how you doing, my my fearless team leader there? Uh, power. I am looking for power. Battery, another fan of the uh, City Skylines game here. We need some power. All oh, there is uh, my power. Ooh, I get, uh, is this the coal? Okay, that's the coal power plant. Yeah, I don't want coal. We're going clean energy here for extra life. Clean energies. So let me check out. Come on. The advanced wind turbine here. Oh, water required. Is it really? So I got a little mountain there, but I don't have water available there. So if I throw you here. Here, I do have a wind turbine here. How, how about that? It's already occupied, so I've got to run. Do I have water coverage? This is interesting. Four videos a week and six hours of Twitch on the weekend mornings. Nice. Oh, I guess I gotta hook water pipes directly to it. I bet you that's what it is. Those go in the ocean. Oh, oh, these actually go in the. Oh, in the. Ah. Gotcha. I figure. Well, maybe I have to run pipes to it. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Nice noise pollution, but cool. All right, so let's let's throw her in the water here then. Let's do that here. Now, how close can I get? I, now, now, Kent, if I throw it here, I've got. Of course, if I point at my screen, you guys can't see where I'm pointing. But if you can see on the left-hand side here, I, I've got. Now, I assume I gotta have power lines 
uh, connected to it. Now, will this cover those power lines? Will this add to my power if I throw it down right here? Before I throw it down right here? <laughs> But yeah, I have been sneaking into tons of trove streams to keep people from going crazy. Yeah. Like I said, yep, need a... Okay. All right, so good. It's got a tower in a circle right there, so that'll be perfect. Let me even hedge my bets here. It looks like I can throw it here right on the edge. It's perfect. Excellent. More green energy. Yeah, like I said, my, my daughter's really big into the Minecraft, so um, we actually started out since, since Trove was free to play. But I was, I was uh, good. We got daylight, so I can actually take a look at my... Oh, look at that. It's even solar power. Look at that. I like that. Um, so I actually... We actually got... I got her playing... Because she's really into Minecraft. I'm like, nah, we don't want... You don't want to pay money for Minecraft and stuff like that. You know, it's... You know, we... You know, at the, at the time, Trove, we, Trove was still in Bay. I said, you know what? You play Trove. It, you know, it's essentially... You know... It, it's the same concept so I got her started in Trove so she's had some Trove experience I've, I've played around with but like like I said you know I've got so many games I want to try out in so little time that whenever I pop into Trove they've changed it so much it's like I've got to relearn the whole game again because I just don't have enough time to really play it on a regular basis like I want to and like I said I, I'm not good at those type of games anyway the pure sandbox games, which I like Trove because it has dungeons. I sort of like anytime I go into Trove, I'm usually just going through and like like fighting monsters in a dungeon is is my extent with Trove. And like I said, building building a staircase as high as I can go into the sky. In terms of actual building, like what some of these people build, it's like I I don't have the time or the skill for that. In fact, we were at Barnes & Noble um, yesterday, and I saw, um, they, they for, for Minecraft, they have a book on how to build a real big medieval castle. I started flipping through it, I said, wow, wow, the, the, the time involved to get the materials for that and, and to build it up like that. And I said, I'd love to be able to do something like that in Trove. So may, may, maybe we'll tr maybe we'll try working on a primitive medieval castle in Trove tomorrow. All right, thanks for stopping by, Lejerk. Thank you very much, and I, I look forward to being able to play uh, some of that new DLC next month. I really want I, I want to showcase that because that that looks really really cool. What they got planned for that. So get, tell everybody at the studios big thumbs up. Big thumbs up for Sea Skylines and, and the new DLC. Oh, you got that book, Dog Day? Yeah, cause I started flipping through. I said, man, I because I'm all into the, that, you know, the castle, medieval castle stuff. I said, I would love to be able to build something, like, you know, that awesome, you know, in a game. So I like, I, I got all, you know, back in the day, I, I had like all the cat, the, all the castle Legos. In fact, I still got some of the original classic. Uh, two, I got two versions of the original classic yellow um, castle that they came out with back in the 80s. Uh, one is the American version. The other is the European version, which is, I think the, the only difference is, is, the, is the number on the instructions and the box. My friend, they, ha they had the rest of the Minecraft books. Yeah, like I said, my daughter's big in the into the Minecraft stuff, but yeah, she, you know, she, she'll play Trove as well. So I look forward to, to doing a little bit of that with her uh, tomorrow, and then and then we're, we're going to do it again on May third, um, Wednesday, May third, from five to seven as well. Polar Gaming, hey hey hey, how's it going, Polar Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us tonight. Got twenty more minutes left, so good. My, yeah, we are really. We're, we're starting to kick it into gear here now with our city. Uh, our little extra life city here. So where are we population? Right, good. Where are we mining? That was the one thing I was concerned about. I didn't want to sort of uh, run too low on the cash here. But we do. I do have to think about this now. Uh, definitely have to think about our police and fire coverage. Weird smell coming from the apartment next door. Oh. 
Hmm. So this is the one thing I had to think about here. My, you know, I almost, uh, I almost should have put it here, shouldn't I have? So with the, with a little bit of the cul-de-sac we got in here, not everything looks like it's developing. Let me see something here. Um, the zone, but it's not really, not really building up there. So I think I will do it that way. But then again, I do need a roadway coming out here, so that's not really going to... Never want for service on a dirt road. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that. What are you doing playing this late? Change your schedule? Yeah. Yeah, I had a bit of a change of, a change of my streaming schedules this week. I ended up not being able to stream yesterday afternoon. Um... But I didn't want, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to miss, miss my week of City Skyline, so I just happened to check in Discord while I was at work today that uh, the 7 to 9 slot was open. I said, oh, perfect, good, I can pop in and do City Skylines and stay on track with that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, services on the dirt road probably wouldn't be the best idea. See, now i got to figure out how I'm going to plan all my trams and that kind of stuff, so. That's the dirt road. We don't want that. Of course, i got the highways now. Bush stations. Oh, we got so much we can build now. Highway ramp. Oh, yes, the ramp. Yes, Polar. Uh, are you familiar with Extra Life at all? Because if not, we got lots of people here. I try to donate money whenever I can. Well, hey, that's just as important as the participation. So thank you. Thank you for your donations. Thank you very much. And I should I should point out, too, that, um, you know, I, I mentioned it, I think, in passing, as I've been talking about Extra Life tonight, you can participate no matter where you are in the world. Again, you know, most of the hospitals uh, that we that we play for here, um, that uh, that are part of the CMN network are North American hospitals, but you can participate from wherever you are in the world. Um, as as I recall, we do have at least one participant uh, who's in Germany. Um, I'm trying to think uh, uh, if there's anybody else. I don't recall off the top of my head. I think we might have a few actual international people. Have a look at the newly unlocked service. Oh yes, I I know I know I. Well, I'm probably going to have to try to remember that for next week. Uh, or for this coming Monday, I guess I should say. Get some of my bus services and stuff going. But yes, um, so you can participate uh, wherever you are in the world. You just pick a hospital. Um, and even like even if you're in North America, you don't have a hospital near your area. When you sign up, you can actually pick any hospital uh, that's a part of the network, uh, no matter where you are. Even if you have one near you, and there's a particular hospital that you want to support. Let's say, for instance, that, you know, me and the family, we always go to Hershey Park, um, you know, throughout the year uh, on, on vacation and, and, and just for day trips and stuff like that. Um, let's say, for instance, that, that one of the kids gets hurt and we have to take him to, to the, the, the hospital, the kids' hospital that's in Hershey. Well, I can, you know, at that point, I can choose to say, you know what, hey, they, they treat my daughter. This year, I'm going to support the Hershey Hospital. So I can do that even though, you know, I'm in the Philadelphia area. So wherever you are in the world, you can participate and, and support a hospital. Because at the end of the day, the important thing is, is that what we're doing here at Extra Life is helping kids get better. You know, we're saving their lives. Um... So it doesn't matter where, to me, it doesn't matter where that child is in the world. Like I said, you know, I said earlier when I gave a shout to ju the Judgment Gaming team, you know, Battery supports a hospital in, in New Orleans, and I always donate to him. You know, we've had a couple of other people on our team as well who, who support different hospitals. I've do I donate to, to, to every team member of Judgment Gaming. I've, this past year, for my $1 at a time campaign, I've donated to every member of the stream team at that point and, and our mods. 
Um, so I support, you know, I help them support their hospital. So wherever you are in the world, you can participate and you can most certainly donate. So thank you. Thank you for supporting us there, um, Polar, through your donations. You know, like, like we've said, every, every dollar helps. Every dollar can make a difference in the child's life. So thank you definitely for that. So I think I'm going to want to pull this road out here. Just sort of like that. Let's, let's, ooh, wow, big thunderstorm here. And uh, let's see what we can get done in the next 10 minutes or so before we hand things over to Riffy. Oh, Boom, so we'll do that. No, 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 stop. That's all the roadway I want it from Advent. Thank you. Uh, how we, ooh, wow, we got some high industrial demand, so I can go easy on the residential for now. But what I did want to do is throw down my police station right here. Yeah, I think right there. I kind of like you right. Not there, not there. All right, right about there lines you up. Oh, look at all the happy people. We will throw you. Move over, move over slot there. So we got our fire coverage. And then. Yes, I know, I will look at it on Monday. Relax there, my little tweeter bird. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Are people dying? I thought I had enough hospital coverage. Stop. No, no. Resume. Wait, stop. A dead person is waiting for transport. <laughs> <laughs> they've been waiting so long that they've died so what you're telling me is I need to get my bus stations and stuff going okay oh I need cemeteries ah uh -huh. is that what it is okay because yes we did unlock the cemetery didn't we um they're dying and there's nowhere to put them. well weren't they dying before I unlocked the cemetery Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! I don't know what, is it, is it here? Is that why you're flashing at me? Yes, okay. Let me guess, it must be placed roadside. Of course it does. Uh, of course, so where do we want to put this? Because I assume this has a little bit of a NIMBY effect here. Gone go, dog. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, dog Daytona. Thank yeah, thanks for all the links and helping out uh, in the chat tonight. It's much appreciated. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to throw you out uh, in this general area here. Escape. 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 Thank you. Let me zoom in down here see what I'm going to end up demolishing here to make my... Uh, ooh. Maybe nothing. Can I... Uh, Maybe uh, not. Nope, I'm not gonna be a be a little tricksy with it, am I? I'm just gonna have to demolish. And oh, you're both gonna go, aren't you? Oh well. Hey. Oh, uh, essentially helps in response time. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I guess I will. Um, hmm. Hmm. I do have this big area now. How big is it? I just might have to build the roadway out here. Oh, that's too big. Oh, man, that's even too big to throw over in my industrial... Oh, I can throw it in my... Oh, you know, I could throw it here, couldn't I? I mean, it's not exactly centrally located, but... Uh, let me see... Yeah, see, I'm going to lose on the left-hand side here. Yeah, I've got nothing there. But it covers the current amount of dead people in this general area, doesn't it? Now, if I throw it here... Yeah, see, that gives me better coverage up in the... Uh, 
left hand section here but I don't want to have to bulldoze all those houses though so we'll just have to throw this guy down here and hope nobody dies in my uh, recently placed cul-de-sacs so I'd rather have you I'd rather have you right here uh, so good boom Wow Oh, everybody's happy that we've got a place for our dead now. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh-oh, some abandoned buildings. They didn't like that. Yeah, I'll end up building another anyway, so. We're all good. Let's see what this puppy looks like here. See what we got here. Oh, we got a little churchy. We got our church. Let me rotate it. Wow, this is, this is an god awful long thunderstorm here I must say but we have daylight we have daylight a little mausoleum yes if you host yeah you do um, a host you do the slash host um, and then whatever the the channel name is yes And don't forget, you can also auto-host as well. My auto-host lists are filling up like mad. Oh, oh, was, oh that's the disaster. Forced fire. Yeah, because it did mention we did have a disaster, didn't it? Forest fire over there. Okay. Forest fire in the middle of the rainstorm while it's sunny out. Yes. Because, because, yes. Because reasons. Le Jerk isn't in chat anymore, so I can make it, uh, I can poke a little bit, a little bit of fun at the game here. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, that's, that's the, the one thing I'd, I'd like to be able to do is a more freeform sort of control over the camera angle here, because I'd love to be able to look for a rainbow. Alright, we are almost done here. It's almost time for a Rufio. Rufio, yeah, lightning strike indeed. Hey, hey, thank you for the host too, Polar Gaming. Awesome sauce. Thank you very much. It's that helps you. Oh, you know what I needed? I did need my school. I did need, I did need, I did need. Uh, I wanted to throw down another school here, too. Um, let me rotate the other way, please. Thank you. We did now. Let me see. I think I can. Go out here a bit. Let's see. Once you turn green, awesome sauce. That's right. Awesome sauce for games. Ah, uh -huh. come on. Up, up, up. No, don't take that double, double jump here. I just want you to turn green enough to see how far out. But you're not going to let me do it, are you? So we'll just do this. We'll pull you out. I know distance too short. Just a little bit further here. Uh oh, yeah, I, I know that feeling, Battery, I know. Well, thanks for swinging by. Thank you for swinging by, my friend. Always a pleasure. Yes, I want to make sure we have a DSC. It's sort of... That's about the cusp of it. I'm starting... It's not really as, 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 solid, as solid as up here. I think, um, you know what, I say that's where I'm going to put it, and that's where I'm going to put it. And Rufio, if you are around in chat, uh, just give a shout out in chat whenever you are ready to go, my fine sir, and uh, we'll turn things over to you. And before I forget and lose all my wonderful progress we've made since uh, we did our video and our 
did uh, show you Spencer's story an hour ago. We will save you. I did. Oh, you know what? That's right. Because I saved this area for services too. So maybe I'll throw down a ser um, some services here, real quick, like a bus station, um, bus depot. Uh, for your bus times, uh, build lines with the bus stop tool. Uh, build lines with the bus stop tool. Just the number of buses available. Or raising the most these public transportation. Uh, um, hmm. This could be a little bit more involved than I thought. Taxis. Um, taxi depot. So this is the garage repair shop for the taxi cabs between work ships. Okay, good. How big is this guy? Maybe we'll throw down a taxi then. Uh, I might be able to. Can I throw you down right here? I think you'll fit right here, won't you? <sighs> Sweet. Too big for here, right? Yep. And too wide there. Now I'm going to end up having to save my game again anyway. As we got Mr. Taxi here. Oh, if you could fit. Eh, get back in there. Yep. Ah, that way. And uh, where were you? Can I flip you over the other way? See if I can get this angle right here. Yeah, you flip the right way there, but you're flipping the wrong way there. Take you back, back this way now. Come on, back, back. Oh, I'm so laggy. Here we go. That's where we want you. Ah, uh, you're not going to do it. All right, fine. Go there. Oh, I just blew up the house. Oops. Wanted to avoid doing that, but hey, that's okay. We got a taxi depot. That's escape. And then get, we're getting close to, okay, getting close to a breakthrough on something. Escape, escape. Thank you. All right, there we go. So let me get back in here. So I might have to rezone here. Or D zone. I can zone this and that. Although I don't know how. Uh, yeah, see, that's um. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't like how that turned out, but that's all right. We'll roll with it for now. We'll see. We'll see if anything builds up there. I doubt it will, but hey, we always make adjustments later as need be. We've we've got uh, quite a bit of extra cash on hand now, so we got at least one taxi going there. We got our school going. We got our police and fire over here. Give us some nice coverage. We got our cemetery way down yonder. I don't see any dead people. We've got our clean energy hydro station there. Hydro electric, hydro wind. Whatever it's called. And we'll be good to go. So, uh, just waiting here to turn things over to, uh, Rufio. I think Rufio's still on tonight. And if not, I, I am almost so, so tempted to keep going. But, uh, that's the kind of aggro I don't need to draw tonight. Says I gotta get up early anyway in the mornings. So, um, yeah, I think we will, uh... We'll start wrapping things up here. There's not too much more. Do I? Uh, see, I think I think I just bit myself with that school placement. So we're wrapping. See, what I could do now is wrap the road around this way, but not with the school there now. I have to do something different, won't I? Trying to think. Let me see something here. Build one more road, and I think we'll uh, we'll head on out here. Because uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do have to get up, uh, to work early in the morning. But just out of curious, see how far. Let's go curved. Let's see if I can get curved going here. Curved road. Here we go. Okay. Is 
There we go. You see, I kind of... I wanted to curve a little bit more. Can we... See, that's sort of working. Pretty much how I want it. Hey, 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 yeah, I know. I, I, I'm waiting for Roof here to let me know he's ready to go here. I'm going to wrap things up anyways. Like I said, I got to go. I, I still have to grab a bit of dinner here. Get something in the belly. Hey, Billy Cat, how's it going? Can you read? How you, can you read? How you doing? He's here? Oh, is he? Okay, good. Let me do this real quick, then I'll turn things over to you guys. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You know what I'm saying here? We got more extra life in the go tonight. So good. Let me Let me throw my road down here. Sweet. So I'm going to have to bulldoze my school. Not so sweet, but hey, it's all good. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. I just, uh, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I saw you were on, so I assumed you were coming in, but, I, you know, I just, I didn't want to leave us with too much dead space, so good. Let me save my game, and uh, we can turn, new save. We can save for extra life. How's that sound to you? Aha. Yes, we want to overwrite that because we're in pretty good shape here. So good. Thank you, Rufio and crew are ready to go. So thank you for joining me tonight, everybody. It's been great. It's been fun filling in on this wonderful Tuesday evening. I don't think I've ever done a Tuesday yet since I've been a member of Stream Team. So let me get out of here. Let's turn things over to Rufio. He's got great stuff coming up for you, too. More Extra Life at Hand. I am BJ Waller. Thanks for watching, everybody. And like I said, I'll be back here tomorrow on the Extra Life uh, for kids show from 5 to 7 p.m. for some trove with uh, the boo Aaron my oldest and uh, in the meantime until then I'll see everybody oh we're moving in the game I gotta hit the right slider thank you everybody Rufio up next <laughs>